The holidays are coming up. You've already rewatched your favourites, and nothing new looks any good. So, here's five lesser known movies, all completely different from each other, covering a wide variety of genres, and hopefully you'll find something that sparks your interest. And if time investment is an issue, don't worry, because unlike a lot of films these days, they're all only 90 minutes long. Frank's getting old, and the world he knew is disappearing. Technology's march has reached even his small rural town, changing it forever. People and places are being automated and replaced, further eroding Frank's grounding to the world. You see, he's been losing his memory for some time. His daughter tries to talk to him, from the other side of the world, barely able to finish a sentence before the connection is severed. Thankfully, his son, though also distant, is closer and seeing things reaching a breaking point, introduces a domestic robot that successfully helps Frank maintain his independence. So this is an overly saccharine Hallmark movie to make you book, right? Today we're going to start a garden. Fuck this shit. Yeah, not quite. There's one thing Frank does remember well. His old life as a jewel thief. And he soon discovers that Robot has only one concern. Helping his well-being. Upholding the law isn't a core part of that. With this unexpected new partner, plans are drawn up, joints are cased and moves are made, all to preserve what's been taken away from the town and punish those responsible. This movie really works for a couple of reasons. First, although Robot is taught a lot of new things, he doesn't change, remaining sweetly neutral. That, meshing with the resurgence of Frank's old, colourful personality, results in a lot of great interactions and genuinely funny moments. Secondly, although there's strong themes of loss, ageing, loneliness, mental decline and obsolescence, they're the backdrop for the fun yet touching story of Robot and Frank. However, if you have a connection to any of those themes and bring it with you, this one might hit you pretty hard. In a movie that's almost a century old, you may assume there's little you can relate to in terms of what people say and how they say it. You'd be surprised. On the surface, this is your standard murder mystery. The thin man of the title goes missing, people start turning up dead, the police investigate and a retired detective is reluctantly drawn into the whole affair. And watching that story play out makes for an entertaining enough genre piece. But there's another reason this film still connects easily after all this time. There's a large cast of colourful characters, and the detective in particular knows a lot of them through his work. He and his wife turn out to be the best characters of all though, thanks to their relationship one where they're always playfully maintaining their love. The performances fully convince you that this is a true partnership, full of witty exchanges born of mutual respect. The improvised banter comes easily, and of particular note to a modern audience, is when Nora gets one over on Nick, our leading man, it's not to own him, and his face says it all. If you think a film released six years after the introduction of sound to cinema must be stuffy and restrained, give this a shot. The interactions between the two leads are incredibly funny, and not in a for-the-times kind of way. You'll be shocked at just how directly relatable it is today. I guess that's where appropriate. Having fun with a situation never goes out of style. 
Not sure how I feel about this cultural appropriation, though. Nah, who cares? There's a cool dog. Several acquaintances arrive at a middle-class dinner party, and serious things clearly need to be discussed and properly sorted out. But instead, when they're not talking past each other, they're talking about nothing. It's fucking insufferable. Then, a mysterious event happens, so they're forced to deal with it and get real with each other. That's all I'll say about the plot, because this is one of those movies where the less you know, the better. And the only reason I've said as much as I have is so you don't just go into this and say, ugh, these, these people fucking suck, and turn it off. Because although there's a recommendation for a dark murder fest later in this video, this film is the most disturbing. So instead, let's get into the interesting production story. For a the start, there was no crew, just the director holding the camera. And he also wrote the screenplay, spending a year meticulously working out how things should unfold. There was no script for the actors though. They had points to hit, but aside from that, the whole thing was improvised and shot over five nights. The actors didn't know each other before filming, and you likely won't know them either, with the possible exception of Xander from Buffy. All of this normally sounds like a recipe for a mess, if not an outright disaster. However, thanks to the huge amount of time devoted to forethoughts and planning, it's a compellingly intricate psychological thriller slash horror. It's a tale as old as time. Man finds great success. He is corrupted by this, becoming awful, and, by his own hand, loses everything. What's documented here, though, is the tale of Man is awful, has great opportunity thrust upon him several times, views everyone as an enemy, treating them as such, and ends up right back where he started. This is the true story of Troy Duffy, whose screenplay was the subject of a Hollywood bidding war in 1996. Bought by Miramax, a budget of $15 million is given, with Duffy allowed to direct even though he has no experience. Not even been to film school. Friends and family have various roles in the production. Their band will create the soundtrack, and soon a major offer comes in for a record contract. At request of Duffy, this documentary overnight is commissioned to two of his friends and business partners to immortalise this guaranteed success. Instead, it documents something else entirely. The abuse, the dragging, the sabotage. Nobody is spared, be they some of the most powerful players in the entertainment industry or loved ones. As tensions rise and bonds are broken, the attitude sadly becomes infectious. The movie, The Boondock Saints, did eventually get made, though it was effectively blacklisted from theatres. Through word of mouth, it did well on video and DVD, but Troy Duffy saw no money from that, since his contract excluded profit from television and home media. This will be the hardest of these films to track down, but if you manage it, you won't find a better cautionary tale of how not to act when an opportunity comes knocking for not just success, but also the chance to better yourself. Okay, so this will likely be the most well-known of the list, since it's a relatively recent Hollywood production. 
It did pretty well at the box office, but is also a divisive movie, and it's easy to see why. It's a dangerously stormy night, and ten strangers find themselves trapped at a motel on a flooded Nevada road. They begin being gruesomely murdered one by one, and those dwindling few have to figure out who's responsible and what's really going on. Yeah, the premise is extremely cliched, and the reveal, ridiculous. But that's also why it's able to have so much fun with the proceedings, and remains highly rewatchable. As those who are forced together are revealed to be awful and or suspicious in their own individual way, the black torrential atmosphere never lets up, in terms of rain, the story's pace, and the killings. By the time you understand what's happening, your perspective has shifted several times, but the clues were always there. And this is the point when many will throw up their hands in exasperation. Oh my fucking god! Not me though, I'm fully on board with this shit. And a lot of that has to do with the strength of the performances from the ensemble cast embodying their intentionally broadly drawn characters. So, even if you dislike how this all comes to a head, there's still a lot to appreciate in its dark personality. <laughs> 